um, you know, since the early 2000s and when uh, TKIs were first approved for pediatrics, um, imatinib um, what has been used extensively in pediatric CML. Within the past year, additionally, desatinib and nilotinib have been approved for uh, pediatric use in uh, CML, and they're really considered first-line agents for chronic phase CML in children now. Um, children who have um, more acute presentations, sometimes they have other treatment considerations, should they receive TKI? Should they go directly to transplant? What should be their, their treatment approach? Um, and that's usually a topic for the oncologist as opposed to the endocrinologist. Um, but for uh, children who present with chronic phase uh, CML, uh, typically a either first or second generation TKI will be the drug of choice.